It is Monday catch-up time, and today I'm joined by Australia's most enduring recording artist. Began her career in show business more than, can you believe this, 70 years ago, and has just released a new album on her eight... Can, can I mention your age? Yes, you can. 85th <laughs> birthday, Mary Schneider, good afternoon. I, I don't... Good afternoon, darling. <laughs> we, we, we worked many times together in, uh, in the Sydney club world. We did, and before we start, Dennis, I must remind you of this. We, you and I, we, you were in the shame show at some... I've forgotten the club, one of the Sydney clubs, and there was a <clears throat> flight of stairs at the back, very steep stairs and my husband used to bring all my gear, my guitar, banjo, yes. piano, accordion, the sound gear and everything because at that club they didn't have good sound. So, <clears throat> and you were, you just arrived and you know what you did? What I'll did never I forget it. You helped us up those stairs, up and down and up and down, my husband with that gear and that was so good and the sound was so bad, you used our sound, it was better. <laughs> And then on the way back, you waited for us to, to clear everything up and put everything away and then come down the stairs with us and we had a tyre was no good. I remember this. A, a flat tyre and you got under the car and changed the tyre for us. I'll never forget that. There darling. will be those listening who would think that I'm, it's impossible that I could do such a thing, Mary. <laughs> No, okay. it wasn't were, him. I'll she, never she, forget it. They'll say she's got mixed up with Barry Crocker. No, it, no, no. It was me. Nobody, <laughs> they don't do that sort of thing. <laughs> there you go. That's so beautiful. Thank you. We're going to be playing, tell us, tell us about the new album. This is well, very exciting. Well, I'm excited about it because it only out last Friday. And I started this album with Tommy Tico about, oh, several years ago, many years ago, and uh, I did four tracks, uh, In the Mood and, and different ones uh, with him, Boogie Woogie, Bugle, Boogie Woogie Yodeler from Company B, mm -hmm. and uh, did it with him, four tracks, and then then I did it with my, my sister worked with me all the time on helping me with the Yodeling the Classics and this one and that. Then I lost Reed, <coughs> Reed passed away in, oh, I think it was, 2010 or something, mm -hmm. and uh, and I got so depressed because I lost. Then Tommy passed away, and I, I I'd man. lost members of my family, and I I didn't want to do it. I just shelved it. So last year I picked picked myself up and said I've got to finish yodeling the big bands. I have to, so I did. There you go. You also was Tommy conducted when you did the album classics. with the Sydney Symphony. Yeah, classics one and two. Two. One and two. Mm. I knew that. I knew there'd definitely been one. <laughs> yeah. So, wh where who's taken over the musical directing and all that sort of stuff? Well, this in this the last six tracks I did this year and um, last year um, was um, uh, I did it with uh, George Broadback did the uh, yep. arrangements. Very good. I wanted Gosh, really forties sort of sound. Yeah. You know, I tried a few other arrangers, but they were they were t two today. I said, I want that really 40s sort of Tommy Dorsey and uh, Glenn Miller sound, you know, so we got it. Would, and, you, uh, would you be happy to take some calls if there are any fans listening? Oh, yeah. 96900 693 or 13 13 32. Special guest for Monday Catch Up today, Mary Schneider. How did you begin yodeling? Oh, well, I could always yodel as a little girl. In our Brisbane home, I used to listen to Tex Morton and and uh, yeah, Smokey Dawson, and they always did a little yodel, yodely, yodely, way yodely, at the end of the song in the beginning. That was the thing those days in country and Western music. But not everyone could do it. Oh, they had a few good yodelers here in Australia. Don't you be, don't be too humble. No one's been able to do it like you. Ah, oh, you're sweet. Thanks, And darling. especially to the diversity of doing the classics and now what you've done with this is mm. fantastic. Well, I just want people to, to understand that yodeling hasn't got to only be in country music or Swiss. It, you know, it's, it can be a beautiful sound. I did Brahms Lullaby with it, you know, and songs like that. So I just wanted to people to know that it can be a beautiful sound. Was there a time when yodeling wasn't taken seriously? Well, I think it's, at, even now, it's not taken seriously in s some areas. But <clears throat> when I go to Germany, they, they, they love it there and Switzerland. 
They do different types. They go, yo, 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 do, and do all that. And it's very traditional. But I go, I do all that stuff. <laughs> is it just Germany that you've also conquered or, or other countries have oh, shown interest I mean, as well? America all yeah. around. I mean, you know, I did a lot of radio and a lot of television. I did um, Howard Stern show. <sighs> Pretty yeah. exciting. That was exciting. 